In this video, I'll show you how to run a principal components analysis in SPSS. As there are many menu options to select from, I'm not going to describe what each and every one does. Instead, I'm going to focus on providing you with the output that you'll need to be able to fully interpret and write up your results. In the companion video, which you can access from the StatHand website or mobile app, I'll walk you through the output that you'll get by following the instructions in this video. So let's get started. We have data here from 100 people who rated how important these five variables are to their decision making when choosing a place to go on holiday. So they rated each of these things on a scale from 1, which indicated very unimportant, to 5, which indicated very important. If I switch to the data view, you can see the responses that the first few participants gave to each item. And remember, the higher numbers, up to a maximum of five, indicate a higher level of importance. So in the Analyze menu, select Dimension Reduction and then Factor. Move all of the variables that you want to subject to Principal Components Analysis into the Variables list. And if you click on the first item, and then hold down the shift key and then click on the last, you can select them all at once. So open up the descriptives dialog and here initial solution should be selected by default. You should also select coefficients, significance levels, determinant, KMO and Bartlett's test of sericity, reproduced and anti-image. And then click continue. Now in the extraction dialog, there are several extraction methods available. In most circumstances, the differences between the solutions that they provide will be minimal. Now in this video, we're going to use principal components analysis. Select scree plot under display. And we're going to extract components based on the Kaiser criterion, which basically says extract components with eigenvalues greater than one. The alternative is to extract a specific number of components, and you may want to experiment with this if the default options don't provide you with an interpretable solution. Click Continue. Now in Rotation, we again have a range of different rotation methods. Verimax, Quartermax, and Equimax are all referred to as orthogonal rotations. And they're used if it's assumed the components summarizing the observed variables are not correlated. The best way of finding out if this is the case is to use an oblique rotation, like direct oblomen or Promax. And in this case, we'll use direct oblomen. An oblique rotation allows the components to correlate as necessary, and thus often provides a more realistic solution. And finally, in Options, select Sorted by Size and Suppress Small Coefficients and change the absolute value below to 0.3. And the reason that we're doing this is to make interpretation of the output easier. Click Continue and then click OK and your output will appear in the uh, SPSS Statistics Viewer. 